Hi everyone, we are really looking forward to having you back here soon for Mass. We don't have a date for when that will be yet, the county has not yet announced that, but we wanna have everything in place so that when they do announce it, even if it were this coming weekend, that we would be ready to welcome you back. And that's why I'm sending you this video and why we've sent you a pretty big email with the details around what we need to do in order to make preparations to come back to Mass. Now, you've already gotten a lot of information from the Archdiocese about what the return to Mass is gonna look like in the big picture, about the need to wear masks, about the different flow for communion to maintain a you know, proper distancing, about the fact that we won't have any singing for the months ahead. So you've heard a lot about that. We're gonna remind you of those things as we get ready to come back to Mass. but. Right now, just very quickly, I wanted to let you know a little bit about what's going into the work that we have to do to prepare for your return here to St. John. So first of all, we're probably not gonna have nearly as many seats available as you might think. We have a big church, but our pews are packed pretty closely together, and so we are only able to use every third pew for seating. And out of those pews that are available, they're about 18 feet long, so that means only three individuals can sit in any one pew, individuals who don't know each other. When we have a family come, we're able to put them closer together, those of you that have been together at home. So we're probably not gonna have as many seats available, and as you can probably tell, it's gonna be a bit of a puzzle trying to figure out how best to bring together individuals, couples, families of three, four, five, or more, and having all of those different numbers at play for any given mass, there's a lot of work that's gonna go into it, and our staff is doing an amazing job, and they're ready to put a lot of effort into this to make it as smooth as possible. So, in order to get your help, we need to ask you to make use of the online system that we have in place in order to have you request tickets for a particular mass. We need to have a really clear way of capturing who you are, how many people are, are in your family, and what mass you hope to attend. And then with all of those requests that come in behind the scenes again, our staff is gonna be working to maximize the space available by putting all of those requests together like a puzzle. And that's gonna take some time. And so I, I ask you to please bear with us as we do that work. Please thank you in advance for your patience with us as we work out the glitches with us. It's not gonna be smooth right off the bat. In fact, it's probably gonna take several weeks or a couple months for us to really get into a good, smooth flow with all of this. So thank you for your patience with this. Thank you for bearing with us in, in all that's about to unfold. The email that this video is coming with has a lot of information around it. We've tried to make it as clear as it can be, but there's probably stuff that you're gonna notice that could be helpful for someone else. So we welcome those, those, that helpful feedback, um, but again, in the midst of that, thank you for your patience with us as we try to figure out all of this, this different stuff that's going on here now. As we look forward to coming back to Mass, we will give you a refresher on the information from the Archdiocese, and again, we'll try to make it as clear to you as possible uh, in terms of what you can expect as you come back here. Uh, we're gonna be dividing the church up into different sections. When you get a confirmation for your request for a particular Mass and a particular number of seats, you'll get a confirmation email back that will let you know what section down to the pew that you're gonna be seated in. The seating is not gonna be able to just be open wide for anyone. We have to do this in a very organized fashion in order to both maintain proper social distancing but also make the most of the space that we have available for our individuals, couples and families here at the parish. So. Uh, please, again, bear with us on that, but thank you for your patience in that as well. When you come to Mass, we're gonna have a great team of volunteers and staff who are here ready to help you. We need you to come to Mass early. You cannot come right as Mass is gonna start. We need to get everyone seated in a very organized way, and so, uh, if you're used to coming in at the last minute or even a little bit later, 
that won't work right now. We, we need to have you arriving uh, a good chunk of time before mass starts in order to get everyone into the church in an orderly way. And then we need to have an orderly flow when mass ends. And so all of that we will help you with, but again, we're gonna need your help in order for it to go as smoothly as it can be. I'm grateful for your help with this. I'm grateful for your patience. And again, in advance, thank you for just putting up with the glitches and the different things that the kinks and bugs that need to be worked out of, of all of it. Now, in the midst of all of that, look, this is gonna be a little bit weird, a little bit awkward. It's new for all of us. And most of us don't tend to do all that well with new and awkward and uncomfortable. But in the weeks and the months ahead, even though this is gonna feel a bit weird for us, we know that the Lord is gonna be at work. I, I know he's gonna be at work allowing this to be a time of great blessing for our parish family. When things are different for us, when we are out of our comfort zone, it tends to give the Lord a little bit more room to work. So what kind of blessings does he wanna give us, our parish family, in these weeks and months ahead? I don't know yet what that's gonna be, but I know that they're gonna be there. I really do know that because the Lord loves us and he wants to use this time always to draw us closer to himself, both as a parish family and individually. So keep your hearts opened up to that. Thank you again for your patience with us in the weeks and the months ahead and I look forward to seeing you again soon for Mass. God bless.